what has transpired with Jackie Hill Perry? Jackie Hill Perry is now going to be one of the speakers at Bethel. Okay? He's going to be... Um, it's, it's going to be in July, and this is going to be happening at the Bethel School of Worship, where Bill Johnson is the apostle, okay? That's what he refers to himself, okay? So, uh, uh, worship school, okay? Worship school. So, register is coming up uh, in July, okay? My understanding, uh, the tickets... Um, <laughs> Six hundred dollars, which is fine. They can charge whatever they want to charge. If people want to go, they can go. If people don't want to go, they don't have to go. Okay, but this is the situation. So, if you're not aware about Bill Johnson, okay, Bill Johnson is a well-known uh, heretic, okay, and this is not exaggeration. We, you know, we're going to demonstrate as we carry on, and. Not only uh, was this the situation, okay, we do have um, American gospel, okay? They were concerned about this issue. Why were the American gospel concerned about this issue? It's because Jackie Hill Perry was in an American... Um, this movie came out four years ago, American gospel, and Jackie uh, took part in it. So American gospel decided to put this public and say this, okay? So we're going to read it. It's not long, okay? Uh, in our last communication with Jack Hill Perry in 2019, we explained our concern over her partnerships with Jen Johnson, Bethel Music, Christine Ken, Hillsong, Sarah Jakes, Roberts, daughter of T.D. Jakes, okay? Uh, Christine Ken, Sarah Jakes, uh, Jen Johnson, all known force women teachers. And the other connected with the Word of Faith or Na movement. She explained that she did not agree with Word of Faith doctrine because it was misrepresentation of the gospel of God. So, Jackie Hill Perry does agree that the Na, they distort the gospel. They preach another gospel. So, she's fully aware of that and she concedes that part. And we praise God for that. But I continue. She explained that she did not agree with word of faith doctrine because it was a misrepresentation of the gospel of God. But she was not in agreement with our interpretation of the biblical lines in who we should, in who we would avoid ministry partnerships with or who actually teaches that false doctrine. Okay? So, uh, Jackie concedes that yes, you know, word of faith is is not uh uh they, they don't teach the full gospel but she disagrees with going as far as saying you shouldn't be partnering with people like uh sarah jacks with people like christine ken and jen johnson okay and we continue uh this is the american gospel we recently learned that jackie will be a speaker at bethel music in 2024 worship school alongside with bill johnson okay so Jackie also asked for our prayers, for wisdom to discern what is pleasing to God and how that affects her neighbors. We believe that her decision crosses both of those lines because, because Bethel's doctrine and practice lead people into spiritual danger, which means they should be avoided. Okay? So, so this is the communication that took place between Jackie Hill Perry and... American gospel concerning her, her partnership with well-known false teachers, which Jack disagrees, okay? So, what was the rationale that American gospel used, okay, for their, um, why they did approach Jackie here with this situation, okay? So, I'll read it to you, okay? It's Romans 16, 17. I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. Romans 16, 17. Okay? There are so many scriptures that talk about um, there's no fellowship between light and darkness. Okay? 
20, uh, 26 books in the New Testament, they are all warning about false teachers. And this is in the church. So we, we, there's no need for us to go there. It's just so clear. So what about with Bill Johnson? Is Bill Johnson a false teacher? Okay. What's wrong with Jackie going to minister with uh, Bill Johnson? Is there anything wrong with it? The answer is yes. It is wrong for her to do so. Why? Because not only is Bill Johnson a false teacher, Bill Johnson denies the core doctrines of what it means to be a Christian. So we are going to hear uh, him in his own words. So we're gonna, I'm going to play this so you can hear what Jackie Hill Pell said herself, okay? Here we go. In a lot of ways, my church put emphasis on things that scripture didn't put emphasis on. I don't think Jesus was the center or the gospel was the center. It was more so what we do, what we can do. And so as a new believer, I never really knew that the gospel was a big deal. And I was realizing how Christless preaching was. And I, I can remember a sermon from the Sermon on the Mount, and it was 10 tips on how to be sexually pure. And I remember that day, like that being a turning point in my journey to say, I never want to be a pastor or preacher like that. <laughs> like, what are you doing to earn God's favor? Have you tithed enough? Have you given enough? Have you prayed long enough? Have you laid hands on anybody in the last week? Have you spoken tongues? If not, then you're not a believer. In fact, I think the thing most common among unbelievers when they think about Christianity is they think about Christian moralism, what we believe about sex, what we believe. All right. So that was Jackie when she was featured in American Gospel. And, but right now we do have a different Jackie, okay? And she was asked about that. So I'll show you what her response was, okay? So this is Jackie, okay? It says, ask me a question. And somebody asked Jackie, will you do another American gospel type of documentary? And this was her response. Probably not. I deeply dislike the tribalism and theological superior superiority those types of films encourage. I did it then, won't ever do it again. If you've watched American gospel, okay? There's so many people who, uh, who their eyes were open because of American gospel. There's so many people who came to know Christ because of that documentary. The scripture uh, is not against people calling out false teaching, okay? Those are the things that we're supposed to be doing. It is important. It serves as a warning. We are commanded to do so, and it's a, it's, it's a biblical precedence to do such things. So, but according to Jackie, all that was all about showcasing um, theological superiority. It's just showcasing what the Bible teaches and comparing the false teachers to what the Bible teaches. And guess what? Bethel was featured in that. So, what Jackie he was participating, she, she agreed to it, obviously. So, she was saying things that, uh, that Bethel does today. But now she's changed. She thinks everything is fine. So she can do ministry with uh, these false teachers. It's okay. So what has changed? Has the scripture changed? Because last I check, it's the same Bible that she had then, that she has now. So what is going on over here? What exactly has changed? So after some time, she also shared, um, this is what Jackie Hill shared, okay? She said, uh, I really have been wanting to share how the Lord deals with me prophetically. But the saints get weird about stuff like that. Okay? And uh, she went on to share. Oh, okay. I'll say this. God primarily deals with me in dreams. I've been enlightened, warned, and led to intercede for others through them. But lately I've had an increase of inner unctions by the Spirit. That are arise in prayer about people I know and I don't know, it's deep. At the beginning of my walk, I was in a Pentecostal church that gave me a room and space to explore this part of myself. But after leaving, I haven't embraced the prophetic out loud as much. Out of fear, out, out of fear mainly, but God really does speak to and through his church and I love it. Okay? 
So I'll go down here. According to Shah, one scenario I've told folks out loud is how the Lord, through an inner knowing such unction, told me I would have a son in 2019. Take note of that. She will have a son in 2019. That's what God told Jackie. Got pregnant with another girl in 2020. And I was thrown because I, I was thrown because I was new that God said, but I just chunked it up to me being off. After I had sage, we scheduled Preston uh, uh, me because I had no intention of having four kids. The night before, I had a dream that I was holding a boy that was half dead. Not because he was dying, but because he was being kept from life. As I held him, uh, I felt fear. And literally in the dream, God said, do you trust me to have a fourth child? I told the dream to Preston, who also had a similar one. We, uh, we canceled the vasectomy, and a few months later, I was pregnant with a boy. I say all that to say, we save a living and speaking God. Okay? So, but I want you guys to, to take a look at what she said over here. Okay? This is according to Jaggy Hill. Okay? God told her. She was going to have a baby boy in 2019. Jackie Hill did not have a baby boy in 2019. Jackie Hill Perry ended up having a baby girl in 2020. And later on, she ended up having a baby boy. Okay? So what is the issue? What is the point? If God spoke to Jackie in her dreams, and she didn't have a baby in 2019, a baby boy, what does that say about God? Mm -hmm. so what happened because if god speaks god is not a mind that he should lie he speaks it shall come to pass he speaks with authority word and whatever else he says is going to come to pass so that's what uh jackie here appears said this so this is the problem when we stop trusting what the bible teaches we go by our dreams our feelings our experiences all those things, even if they happen to happen to come true, they are not authoritative. Only the word of God is authoritative. So if you say that God told you that, by definition, that was authoritative. It was supposed to come to pass. It is supposed to happen because God cannot lie. But since Jackie, uh, she did ask that she needs, uh, she wants people to pray. She's asking uh, for discernment in this area. And the scriptures are already there, okay? So there are things that, yes, we need to be asking uh, the Lord for. But if God has already spoken things that are black and white, you, there's no need for you to be asking for, uh, for discernment and everything. It's just a matter of you obeying what God has said. That's it. So, but, you know, we don't want to obey. We want to do our own thing. So let's listen in to Bill Johnson himself. The gentleman who will be uh, sharing a stage with Jack Hill Perry. Jesus made this scary statement. He said, the Son of Man can do nothing of himself. Do you know that Jesus so restricted his function on earth that he actually couldn't heal anyone? He couldn't multiply food. He couldn't cast out devils. He couldn't do any of that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm always shocked by what people believe who call themselves Christians. But I continue to realize that they are under the sway of the great deceiver, Satan himself, and the spirit of Antichrist that he projects into the world when they are satisfied to believe in a false Jesus. Because he had restricted himself to the life of a human being that would have to be dependent on the Father through the Holy Spirit. Now, if he did miracles as God, I'm still impressed, but I, I'm reduced to an observer. Jesus is God, but that he's a member of the Godhead. It, it, it's not just that Jesus is divine, but that he is a member of the Trinity, that he has existed eternally as God, that although he took on a human nature in his incarnation, he did not come into existence in the incarnation. And although he relates to his father in the economic Trinity there, being sent by his father, and empowered by the Spirit, even while he is here, 
in his human nature, he nonetheless has this divine nature as well. That hypostatic union that we heard of earlier, that he is fully God and fully man. So, uh right there okay the preachers have said it all there's nothing i can add over here okay you have j mag you have vody everything is just crystal clear so this is bill johnson okay who does not believe that jesus is god according to bill johnson he thinks jesus was just a man who was able to do miracles that's why bill johnson calls himself an apostle because he believes that he can also uh he, he can also do miracles just like Jesus. That's why they teach, uh, quote unquote, this uh, school of miracles at Bethel. They have all that music pumped around the world. That's how they attract people to go to that particular school. So if we do believe that believing in Jesus as your Lord and Savior and believing him being fully God and fully man, if you deny these things, you, 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 are, you, you are outside. Okay? You're not even close. You are outside. So why would Jackie be sharing a stage with somebody who teaches that mm -hmm. and according to him says jesus wasn't uh casting demons like which bible is he reading jesus wasn't uh healing people like what are you talking about what are you talking about and remember this is the same bethel they had uh somebody die a young person died over there and they waited three days expecting the person was gonna to rise again from the dead and that didn't happen i was just like you guys you have to understand Jesus, uh, Jesus died. He rose again three days later. That was him fulfilling a prophecy. So if somebody else dies, if you're expecting them to rise three days later, what prophets are they fulfilling? Hmm? What prophets are they fulfilling? Oh, like Jesus, him uh, dying and rising again from the dead, we have hope that we are going to, uh, it's a promise that we are also going to be resurrected if we are in Christ. Even the people who are not in Christ, right? We are all going to live eternity, okay? Either in hell or in heaven. By the grace of God or experiencing the wrath of God. So, if Jackie is asking for wisdom, it's ja if Jackie is looking for discernment, the things are already there. All she has to do is just to obey what the scripture teaches and just go by that. She shouldn't, uh, she shouldn't be wishy-washy about any of these things at all. Okay? There's no need. So, hopefully, that she'll, uh, she'll take heed of all these things and you know uh follow accordingly so this is jude it says um for certain people have crept in and notice who long ago were designated for this condemnation ungodly people who pervert the grace of our god into sensuality and deny our only master and lord jesus christ that's what the scripture teaches okay those those are you have to watch out they've crept in and noticed Contend for the faith. What is the issue? They're denying Jesus Christ being our Lord and Master. Bill Johnson denies that. So what exactly is Jack Hill doing with Bill Johnson? Help me out here. All right, guys. Stay tuned. More coming this week. That is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.